Hey guys, it's Robert Robles at Complete Truck Body. Find us online at completetruckbody.com or on Instagram, Complete Truck. So here in front of us, you guys, this is a 2002 American LaFrance four-door retired fire truck. This was a mechanics truck, so it had all the toolboxes and everything on top of it. Single rear axle. And what we've done, this is actually the third year we've been working on it uh, to turn it into a Burning Man mobile. So we just finished adding the doors. This is all pieced together from different things that we've had. This is not a from scratch professional build. This isn't even really a refurbished build, I would say. This is more along the lines of kind of an experiment and pushing, piecing things together. Starting off, we've got this lift gate. This lift gate is actually a brand that's not well known or too popular here in the US. It's about five feet long and 94 inches wide. Um, it's got two lift cylinders and two tilt cylinders, and I believe it's a 4,000 pound capacity. Uh, the only distributor of parts and of this gate in the United States is located in Georgia. And well, he's just one guy. So it's a little difficult to work with this gate. Uh, we definitely had some issues initially with it, but we were able to eventually kind of figure it out. So we've got an aluminum, all aluminum platform here. And it's painted with a little bit of texturized, texturized material for grip slippage. That's how we bought it. Um, we've got some flashers here. We've got these two pieces are stops for the lift gate itself. Again, this is a unit that we kind of built and made and figured out. You can see right here, this is the original column. This is about where, actually there right here is another piece of steel because we needed to make this more narrow or else it wouldn't open. So we had to go ahead and attach it somehow. And we've got the hinges right here. So that way it's a, it's a little narrower of a, of a door. So we open this up and then we can go ahead and climb inside. So start before we climb in there, you can go ahead and get a quick shot of everything. We've got some PAs up there with the, all the walls, the ceiling, everything is lined with uh, aluminum 6061 uh, alloy, if I remember correctly. Um, we've got this steel red bar running along there for mounting and for security. We've got over there as well, since you can't weld and and right underneath this wall, underneath these walls, is just chem light. And then chem light is a, is a fiberglass material that's used in refrigerated bodies and wood. So the way refrigerated bodies are built is they're built, you can see right here. So you see, you've got the steel structure inside, which are just they're called Z posts or Z bars, depends on who you ask, because they're shaped like a Z. Uh, and there's polyurethane foam sprayed in between there. And there's some wood placed atop it, bam, right there, plywood, and then the aluminum. It's built almost just like a house, really, when you look at it. So this is the instant water heater, the on-demand water heater, depends on what you want to call it, piping and stuff like this. This is something he added. So he actually went ahead and painted, he did this, the, the owner, went ahead and painted the whole interior with um, uh, this red kind of primer to prevent um, uh, rot or something like that. So he kind of made a mess. He put some electrical in the walls and everything. Here's his power inverter. You get an inverter right here and charger. We've got the whole grid system. I didn't do any of this. This is all his, the owner's work. We just installed this bracket. So it pulls off from the ceiling and it pulls off from the side. So it's super heavy duty. This thing is very heavy. And then here on the floor, we have a false plate because, well, not a false plate, a removable plate because underneath here, we've got uh, up to a storage for up to 10 uh, high, high duty, high cycle batteries. So super cool under here. We actually figured out, I was pretty excited when I figured out I can just haul out the floor and stick the batteries in there. We've got the shower here that he built, shower, shower toilet storage here. It's just filled with this stuff right now. Uh, shower piping and plumbing is all right here. Again, we didn't do any of this, someone else did that. And then underneath all that stuff, there's a toilet. This is the air conditioner right here. It's a split unit for a home. He wanted it installed so he could go ahead and run it off here because a commercial unit's very expensive and he didn't want to you know, buy one. He instead wanted to go with something a little simpler. It used to actually have a refrigeration unit, a commercial refrigeration unit, but the problem was not only is it loud, but it needs its own fuel source, it needs its own fuel tank. 
and it's for commercial use. So it's crazy loud, crazy cold. And he eventually scrapped that. For the first year he had the truck with the unit and then after that he scrapped that idea. So we've got that here. And here we've got the pass through. So we went ahead and just cut a hole in the box and then he, uh, we, we cut a hole into the cab. And for about two years he was rolling around like this because I was just trying to figure out basic different things that he could go ahead and do, but he couldn't wait any longer for us to kind of figure it out. So it took us about a month and a half, maybe a month to go ahead and get this together the first time around. And so what we did instead for the moment in time is we went ahead and contacted Dollar Polster. He just used some self-drilling screws and then made ourselves basically this little boot. So you can see right here, there's some light coming in through here. You know, it's not gonna be, it's not watertight and it never will be watertight really, unless we go ahead and put a really intense boot and seal it. But the reason why is because this is a cab over. So here's the interior of the, of the, it's still a fire truck, you know, it's still pretty cool. Here's the other side right here of that of that boot. Um, so the only concern that I have is that it water would collect in here, but it should roll off to the side. So hopefully that'll be an issue. It won't be an issue. And then you can see where this has just been welded because this is open, and that's because when he needed to go ahead and do a service to the truck and he had the refrigeration unit up there, the the roof of this hit. So what we he did, not we he went ahead and just cut a huge hole out of this so he could pick it up. And then we went ahead and rolled a piece of aluminum onto it and installed it. And then you can see here where it's been welded on, just real sloppy, just for the for the quickness of it. We haven't actually fixed it any further than this because he, did he didn't want it and we don't have really time. <laughs> here we've got some seats that we installed for him. We've got two different seats because these, um, these are just cushions that go on top. We installed these seats because they come with the fire, seat. actually the front seats are the fire seats. Um, and those are for the um, the scubas. Uh, these in the back didn't have seats anymore. So he went ahead and took those out and we just, I just had some random seats that we've taken out of trucks before and we've went ahead and took them out. So it, it, it worked out. It's simple, it's cool. And so we'll go outside and check out the rest. So here is the front. So it's all polished aluminum. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. And we built that rack up there as well so that he could go ahead and store more stuff. This is meant to be an RV. This is meant to be a cool car, cool truck for Burning Man. We've got an all polished aluminum cab with powder coated frames all around the windows. And then this is the storage for the propane. That's the storage for believe fresh water is what he's putting in that fuel tank it's all cleaned out he's got the vents there we went ahead he used to just have the the led lights just mounted on the outside but they kept breaking uh, and they kept getting candy by stuff so we cut into the body and we put recessed cups into it we've got a fuel tank we've added in the rear here for gasoline or for diesel for whatever and then this is actually a pump that we had to kind of jury rig together for this gate the original pump for this gate is right here. And it is kind of a mess of cables and solenoids and you know it's 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 it wasn't doing the job we needed. So we're just using a Maxon pump, uh, a pump and solenoid. And it's perfect, honestly. Works perfectly. So we've got the hitch right there so you can tow like a little like trailer with the little cars on them. And then we've got another fuel tank here. Excuse the, the thick, ugly welds on that tank, but we've only got, we don't weld aluminum here all too often. And uh, the chunks that we do do, I mean, it's done with a, with a spool gun basically. So we do have a TIG, but we just don't do it as often enough to have anybody full time to, to really get in there. And it works, you know, it does its job. Uh, and then we've got, these are the, these are, uh, uh, these are just steel bolts, steel all thread bolts that are, um, have the straps and the pieces of rubber to hold the fuel tank in and this can be used for whatever he wants he's got exterior mounted outlets that's his deal he's got to go ahead and make sure there's a GS gfci protected you've got another light bar here this is supposed to be the vent for the uh water heater which is a little weird in my opinion but it does its job we've got the onan uh qd 10,000 generator with 41.7 amps at you know, we've got 12240 service on this. It is diesel. 
And then we've got a black water tank, which has the drain valve right here. And this is a tank that somebody else made. Uh, and it, it, the only concern I have is that he's went ahead and plumbed this to where it's straight, it falls straight into the pipe and there's no protection for smells. So that's the only concern I have. Uh, there's the rest of the cab right there. It looks real nice, real cool, real shiny. And then he's got these little steps, which I am thinking about changing because they're kind of little. We got to take off that plug. That was for the old, the old unit that used to be up there. Um, and there's the interior of the driver's seat. You've got a whole fire truck set up. With fire trucks, you start them with the start button right there. It's not the greatest in my opinion, but it does its job again. The light bar controls are up there. And we've got the comm system right there. And then he's got some stickers from Black Rock City. The Playa. From the last two years, so. It's pretty cool. We've got the horn, the siren, and everything else. This is one of the projects that we've worked on that's been pretty fun over the last couple of years that we've been working on it. Adding to it, making it. You know, he wants to let us go ahead and drive it around and whatnot. Since he doesn't use it other than Burning Man. So, I thought this was cool. I thought you guys would appreciate it. Do you want any more photos, any more tips, any questions, anything like that? Feel free to reach out, leave a comment, say something. If you don't like it, I guess comment. If you do like it, comment. It doesn't matter to me. All right, see you guys later.